the biblical truth of our hymns today the first noel it's in the birth section christmas words the english carol and the music's by john strainer so english Let's just get right into it. No, Noel is an early modern English synonym of Christmas. Now, shall I spell Christmas for you? C H R I S T M A S S. It's not how you spell it. It's how I spell it. And when you get people to come up, let's put Christ back in Christmas. He was never there. There is no biblical Christmas in the Bible. And if you were to check the history, which many don't, you will find that Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Christmas has nothing to do with the Bible. It has to do with pagan organs. So when we're dealing with the first Noel, which means Christmas, so just by the title enough to say, garbage. So, the first Noel. It's kind of funny. I remember when I was watching, as a little boy, I used to watch the Flintstones, caveman people. And they used to have a Christmas. Never dawned on me, B.C., long before. There was a Christmas long before Christ was born. Baal. Uh, Tammuz. Jeremiah speaks about a Christmas tree in Jeremiah 10, but it's not called Christmas. The first Noel, the angel did say, hey, give him credit. Right on. Got that one right. Angels didn't sing. Said was to a certain poor shepherd. Now, how do you know they were poor? How do you know? Uh, I mean... We get all these descriptions of Mary and in the and Jesus at you know at the scene of the nativity and all that. How do we know? So you gotta add extra adjectives to make the story more real. Have you ever had somebody they start off this a story and you go by the, by the end of the room and it's totally different from what you started it's called telephone. The thing is, you know, we gotta make it because we. We can't sing what the Bible truly says about the birth of Jesus Christ, the first advent, because we don't know the facts. Not much is written. So we got to put a little fairy tale into it. So, shepherds in the fields as they lay, in fields where they lay. Well, we don't know where they're laying, but keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. All right. Cold winter. And when you're dealing with the climate in Israel during December, that they say, it is so cold, it's too cold for the sheep and the shepherds on December would not have been outside with their sheep. Kind of weird. Even though the sheep make their own sweaters, it's too cold. For December 25th. I don't know if you call a sheep as an animal biologic. I don't know if that's the right word. But the main frame of a sheep still does not conform to December temperatures in Israel. So, okay. They looked up and saw a star shining in the east. Well, you know what? Let's let's get the Bible out. Let's look at the Bible. You know, and, and then the last one we did, I forget what the name of it was. He, he screamed at me. He said, don't, don't get the Bible. No, no Bible. Don't do it. Oh, I'm doing it again. Uh, Luke chapter, I think Luke, the one with the shepherds. One with shepherds and... And shepherds. All right, so we're in Luke chapter 2, verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, 
keeping watch over their flocks by night. Didn't say laying down. I mean, they say laying down. I don't know. Maybe they're sleeping. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord sh shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. Stop me when you hear star. Because it says over here, they looked up and saw a star. Stop me with a loud stop when I get to the word star. Angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings and great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, they got that right, Glory to God in highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from the, into heaven, the angels said one to another, You haven't stopped me yet. Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see the thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made not known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph. Have you stopped me yet? Joseph and the babe line, will you stop me when you hear the word star? And when they had seen it, they made known abroad, saying what is told concerning the child. And all they that were hurt, you have not stopped me. And all they that heard it and wondered at those things which were told by the shepherd. And Mary kept these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days, you did not stop me. I asked you, please stop me when you came to the word star. But the, the hymn, the, the carol says, they looked up and saw a star shining in the east. I just read you the King James biblical account of the shepherds in Luke chapter 2. The, the carol says something that the Bible doesn't say. Why is the King James Bible believing Baptist churches? Oh, the modern Bibles are bad. The modern Bibles are bad. Wicked modern Bibles. Oh, look how they change the word of God. And yet, you won't cry foul when the hymns and the hymnal go against the scripture. How many times in a Bible-believing church will First Noel be sang coming upon the <clears throat> happy birthday bell season? Yes, I'm cruel. Because all that stuff just leads you to worship Santa Claus and not Jesus Christ. It all comes to worship by good works. If I'm a good little boy, a good little girl, I will get something from Santa even though it's a lie because bad boys and bad girls get things from Santa. It has nothing to do with the Bible. So they looked up and saw a star shining in the east. Beyond them far to the earth, it gave great light. And so it continued both day and night. Where did you get this crap? What is this crap? Nowhere does it say for the shepherds there was a star. It doesn't say the angels, I mean, it doesn't say the angels glowed. No, they have white raiment. All right, number three. This is why we're doing the biblical truth of the hymns. And I hope song leaders will get a hold of this and not get angry with me because I preach the truth. Have I become your enemy because I preach the truth because I told you the truth? Or are you going to say, you know what? We better not sing that hymn. We better not do that no more. And by the light... Of that shine, that same star. <laughs> Shall I stop? By the light of that same star that the shepherds saw, which I read to you, the shepherds did not see. Three wise men came from country far. Shall we look at the wise men? Matthew. Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Luke. Matthew, oh, chapter 2. I will read to you. Now, please, do whatever you can to stop me when you see shepherd or hear shepherds. When you hear the word shepherd, say, stop, stop. There it is. Chapter 2, verse 1. I get excited. I love the Bible. And when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men. 
Where'd you get three? Wise man. It's more than two, but not one. Somebody try to do a little adding. They've added to the Bible. My friend, the carol has added to the word of God. I think the Holy Spirit knows what the word three is because it mentions three days and three nights. God the Father, God the Holy, Holy Spirit, the three in one. It mentions three. All over the Bible, the three days and three nights. I think the Holy Spirit would have said, it came three wise men. I think if there were three wise men. From the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star. No, don't stop me now. No, 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 no. Yeah, we came across star, but there's no shepherds. I said, stop me when you see shepherds. We've already gone through the star. I mean, the shepherds and the star. So here's the star in the east and are come to worship him. And Herod, we're going to read the whole thing. Herod, I don't want you to think I skip anything and give you a lie. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. When he gathered all the chief priests and scribes and people together and demanded of them where Christ should be born. There's the birth. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For this is written of the prophet. And, be, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not thou least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. That's Jesus. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men. Did you see the word three? Have you seen shepherd? You're not stopping me. Inquire them diligently what time this star appeared. Star, star, there's star. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. Young child. Do you hear what I said? Not a baby. Luke chapter 2. Well, stay in Matthew. Stay in Matthew, please. Luke, was it 2? Luke 2. Verse number you shall find. Uh, where is it? Sign. All right. Luke 2 12. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find a babe. 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 Matthew 2. 9. Where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child and his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And they went and they opened their treasures. They presented him with him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now that's where they get the three wise men, by the three gifts. Where you got that, I don't know. I mean, maybe one guy brought all the gifts. The other two guys didn't bring nothing to, 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 to cheats. Maybe there was a bunch of gold, a bunch of frankincense, a bunch of mark. Maybe there were a dozen wise men. But it does not say three. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph in the dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, but, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek, the, will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt. And, when he, and, what, ah, and was there unto the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying out of Egypt have I called my son have you stopped me about the shepherds yet I mean where are the shepherds we got the wise men but we don't have the shepherds yet but we read the shepherds in Luke but we didn't see no wise men in Luke verse 16 Matthew 2 then Herod when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men still doesn't tell us how many was exceedingly rough and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and all the coast thereof from two years old and under. So by the physical date given by the King James Bible, when the Magi show up, Jesus is a young child up to two years old. 
He's not that babe in the manger. There is two different dates of the shepherd coming on the birth of Jesus Christ, which I have more biblical proof to be the Feast of Tabernacles than your holy Baal Mass. Why don't you put Baal back in Mass? Why don't you have Mary Baal Mass? Because that's what it is. Or if you were to ask me who came out of that Catholic religion, Mary Baal Mass. Because a Mass can't save you. And you've got a, a carol in a Christian hymn book that puts two events in one. And no one screams, screams a foul because what you're doing with this hymn is you are changing the word of God. Yes, you are. Because my Bible says there are two accounts. There's one account with a baby. And there's one account up to two years old. And they're not the same. And you notice that when the shepherds came, he's in the manger. When the Magi come, he's in a house. Luke, 1, Luke 2 and Matthew 2. So let's read this garbage some more. And by the light of that same star that the shepherds saw, brought the Magi, which is a lie. The three wise men. Three wise men. Three wise men. The writer of this hymn was blind. <laughs> he committed an awful crime. Changed the word of God. And his hymn is sung in church. Three blind men. Came from a country far. To seek for a king. Was their intent. And to follow the star wherever they went. That's true. But that star did not show up for the shepherds. The angel. And then angels showed up. For the shepherds. Those shepherds were Jewish. Alright. Then let us all with one accord. Sing praises to our heavenly Lord. Not this junk I'm going to sing. That he has made heaven and earth. I'll give them that credit. But do you know that there was a pope. I forget. What, three or four popes ago. The pope that I grew up with. You know that Pope uh, John uh, Paul? I can't yeah, keep track. John they keep Paul. You know that guy said Genesis was a myth. It's recorded in a well well known publication magazine. What are you going to do when a man steps up and says the Bible's wrong? What are you going to do when a Carol comes up and says the Bible's wrong? Everybody stand up and let's sing. We're going to sing Noel. Noel, Noel, the writers will go to hell. Because it's a lie. I read to you Matthew 2. I read to you Luke 2. This hymn is wrong, according to the scriptures. It made heaven and earth of naught. And with his blood, mankind has bought. Don't give him that much credit. So born is the king of Israel. All right, I give that much credit. You know, you can take a peanut butter cookie, and I love peanut butter cookies. And they're good, and they're delicious, and the sugar, and the peanut butter, and the flour that makes that cookie. But man, if you were to put a little cyanide in that cookie, no matter how delicious that cookie looks, no matter how much that thing is given to a sugar cookie, he's got poison in it. The Bible says a little leaven lemons a whole lump. And here we've got a hymn of the 19th century. It's in our hymnal. And it does not match the Bible. It's cute. It's pretty. But it's a lie. So we've got Noel. Noel, first Noel, but we don't have the name Jesus. I know I've been a particular stick fellow on that with these hymns, but there's no Jesus. I mean, he's in there. And the thing is, 
There are two different dates of the shepherds who were first and the Magi who were second. The Magi followed the, 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 the star, led them to where Jesus was in a house. The shepherds were met by an angel and a host of angels were told where to go to find not a young child, but a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes in a manger. Two different scenes. Don't you dare put the shepherds following that same star that the Magi followed. And I grew up with the nonsense as a Catholic thinking that on Christmas Day that that star was there. That Christmas star is not the Christmas star. It showed up at oh, I'm gonna say young child to two years old. After the birth of Jesus Christ, a maximum of twelve of two years after the birth of Jesus Christ came that star, not on the night he was born. Those Magi did not see the newborn Jesus, they saw a young child. The shepherds saw the newborn babe. And that's a big difference. When we're talking about the biblical truth of our hymns. And we've got a hymn that has changed our Bible. I get upset with, with modern Bibles that change the Word of God for the worse. To soil God, Jesus Christ, and the salvation that is of mine by Calvary, by the, by the tomb, and by the, the resurrection three days and three nights. There are Bibles out there that ruin the name and the character and the traits and the finished work of Jesus Christ. King James. Not only am I a King James, I'm a King James studier. I'm a King James reader. I'm a King James preacher. I'm a King James teacher. And you're going to bring this mess of First Noel, which defies my Bible. I don't have anything to do with that mess. I don't have anything to do with Christmas. Now, if you're a young, you're a young Christian or old Christian, and you haven't learned yet, I will help you guide you through. But what's the truth? We can't substitute the truth so we can sing a good little song. Let's cl I'll close Jeremiah ten, verse one. Hear ye the word of the Lord, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Oh, oh, there's a planet coming. Oh, there's a meteorite coming. Oh, it's a comet coming. Oh, it's... <laughs> for the customs of the people are vain. The religions of people, what they do, their traditions are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, and the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and gold. The tree deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la, it don't make sense. The Bible is correct. For with nails and with hammers that it may move not. So you take that tree and you put it in the tree stand so it don't move, it don't fall over. Unless you got cats. They are upright as a palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them. So if this tree that's cut down and nailed to stay with silver and gold, and the Bible says it is vain, That's just one Christmas tradition. I mean, they brought it up with a carol for Christmas, the first Christmas. Let's stick to our Bible. Yesterday, I was studying. I was listening to Handel's water music. Excellent music to listen to. And I'm sitting there reading my Bible, marking my Bible, studying my Bible. I hear that, and I, you know, the words will come. I don't know what the words are. If they're even words, I'd be saying, Jesus is coming. I'd be singing to that music, Jesus, praising God, wonderful God. There's no words. 
I don't know what I sang yesterday, but I gave God the glory, and I was singing of my sins, repenting to God by hearing that music. And after that, I came across, I was listening to Handel's Messiah which is gave me lifting of God, which is true. Handel's Messiah is King James Scripture, truth about Jesus Christ. And when you come to me with a title that is, listen, I know rapture is not in the Bible, but this, but the foundation of the teaching is there. I know you can't find the word Trinity, but the foundation is there. Christmas and all the traditions that follow it are anti-Bible. And as much as you'll get rid of a modern Bible, you need to get rid of the hymns that change the Word of God. The biblical truth of our hymns. This is what the whole story is about. Uh, I'd like you to get these lessons out and get the Word out. Say, this man's got the truth. He's got the Bible. Here, listen to him. You are free to, to pass out, share, whatever you do. <laughs> And I know I'm giving a license for someone to change and extort and uh, rebuke and change and edit and all that. I mean, that's between them and God. As far as my heart is, I want you to learn. I want you to grow by the Lord Jesus Christ and by the scriptures. And I give you free realm of putting this out to anybody and everybody. You can put it on CDs, put it on those little MP3 things, whatever you call it. Do it to your heart's desire for Jesus Christ to be prayed and lifted and exalted. Thank you. I may be, you know, rough, but I grew up Roman Catholic. And with what that church has done to my family, I know of a few that are, I'm going to say 99.9% .9 are in hell today. I'm going to say that. Hopefully I'm wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. I'm not. I hope I will have to repent of that as I have one, these are relatives, I don't know. I have no idea what his testimony was. I have a 50-50 chance. I have a grandfather that came out of the Catholic Church, saved, born again, got into his Bible, read his Bible, studied his Bible, and prayed. He's in glory now. Praise God. The damage that that church does, and then they put out, a story originated and is proclaimed in a Christian hymn book. I'm not going to tell you the name of my hymn book here, but Christian. And it has a hymn that changes the word of God. If I were to write back to Matthew 2, now let's say, here's your King James Bible, right? Ready? We're having a Bible lesson, Matthew 2, 1. Now notice what I do. I'm going to do this in the sake of this hymn. Ready? Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came three wise men with shepherds from the east to Jerusalem. Now is that what the Bible says? Or did I just make up a lie? Did I not just change the Bible? Are you not mad at me saying, Stanley, that's not what the Bible says? What about the hymn? It put those shepherds and it gave us three wise men into your Bible. And now any young child in church that hears that hymn, they're going to think that not correct with the Bible. That's the danger. 